three, two, one. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And today's video might look a little bit different. One, because it's super bright outside. It is junky outside. And two, because it's a totally different perspective on the GoPro here. I can't see myself when I'm filming, that's the only problem. But this is the first video with the GoPro. I finally bought one. What we're gonna be doing today is zero to 60 poles. <laughs> Again, not optimal weather for this, but zero to 60 poles. Um, maybe like, uh, like kind of like when I did the Firebird and the Monte Carlo and the Cobalt before I sold it. Just those kind of poles, like a zero to 60, 25 to 60. Uh, maybe if the roads are good enough, like a 35 to 80. Let's hop in the car here. I gotta strap this to my head because I actually do have a head strap for this. And then we'll get right into it, shall we? I don't, I've never had a GoPro, so we'll see how well the video turns out. Let's hop in the car. I did take it somewhere earlier, so it is decently warmed up here. Should be one of my best quality, at least, like in terms of camera quality videos I've ever had because it's an actual GoPro on my head and I'm not whole, I used to have to hold that massive camera, the DSLR, in my one hand and record myself doing it or I had literally my four-wheeler helmet and then my phone taped to the four-wheeler helmet. So it wasn't ideal. Hopefully this should be a little bit better. It should be. Still gotta get used to this, but letting her warm up here. I might just do the zero out ah, as a car behind me. I was gonna say we could just do the zero to 60 pull on this road right here, but I don't know 100%. And I hope you guys get a good view of the gauge cluster here. I did do a few trial runs with positioning and it actually has to be positioned a decent ways, like aimed down. Cause I did have it pretty much, like if this is the front of the camera, I had it like pretty much like this. I had to do like that. It was, I mean, it's a, it's a decent little angle going on here. There's a salt truck down there. I'm not going that way. But also you guys prepare for um, like a kind of in, hand goes hand in hand with the uh, lawnmower destruction videos. More four wheeler videos, more better quality four wheeler videos coming to the channel obviously because I have a GoPro on my head and not me like I did before. Oh my God, look at this road, dude. Whoa. Yeah, it's a little bit slick. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, that was pretty bad right there, buddy. Zero to 60 roll, pull in three, two, one. That was zero to 60. Also, I'm not gonna push this thing too crazy because this is my daily and it is a German car. So, I mean, I know with like an LS or something, I have full confidence to be okay, but this is a German car with 140,000 miles on it. So I really am not trying to push my luck here and blow this thing up. So not pushing it too, too hard. You guys saw that from the first to second shift, I went for, I shifted out like four grand. I really am not trying to blow this thing up right now. All right, get her down to 25, almost there. All right, 25 to 60 in three, two, one. There's 60. 
again, not a slouch, honestly, for a, a freaking inline six car from just the 2001. So what, 22 years? That's insane, dude. This thing's, no, 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 it is. I mean, I'm looking right at it. So for the next one, we'll do a 45 to like 80, I'd say probably. 45 to 80. Three, two, one. There's 80. Well, yeah, not that bad. Not terrible. Really not that bad. I'll be honest. When I first got it, the clutch is a little weird to get used to. At least for me, this is a very different style clutch, like the feel, the throw and the grab and everything. So I had to get used to it first. But once I got used to it, this car ain't really that slow. For a six cylinder NA, this is not turboed or supercharged or anything. No force induction, just an NA inline six cylinder from 22 years ago. It, it kind of goes. I'm not saying it's blazing speed because it's not. The Cobalt will probably walk, walk this thing in a race, but not by far. I feel like this thing does pretty good for how heavy the car itself is and how, what it actually has under the hood, a freaking six cylinder. Honestly guys, I think that's probably gonna do it for today's first video with the GoPro, honestly. I think it went pretty well. I like it, there's salt trucks left and right. I don't like that, poor car. This thing is this thing is very rust free. I, I might show a clip of you guys of uh, me under the car. I think I took a video of it. This thing is freaking clean underneath. There is not a speck of rust, and that's why I feel bad driving it in the winter. But the Germans they undercoat their shit pretty good. The year, high high end, especially from back then, European cars they undercoat their stuff pretty damn well. And there's a car coming. I'm probably gonna slide off the road and total this car. How much you want to bet? 10 bucks? 20 bucks? Shit, I'm out. Like, what, quarter in? I wonder how weird it looks with a GoPro on my head, honestly. I mean, I just have a GoPro. Uh, they might not even notice it, honestly. Honest to God. Okay, I didn't slide off the road and total my car. That's great and dandy. Stay tuned for more videos coming over this car. More videos coming. I can now finally make videos of me working on my uh, 1980 Trans Am pace car restoration I'm doing that I've been telling you guys about for quite some time here. I haven't been able to film me doing anything on it because I had that massive DSLR and I couldn't hold that and sand or work on it at the same time. Now I got this hands-free, I can now work on it with you guys. So stay tuned for videos coming over to the channel. Like and subscribe for more and I'll see all y'all in the next one.